you know, losing a child to war is the ultimate heartbreak. And Sarah Duvall of Chillicothe has felt that pain losing her son 11 years ago. But this past April, a local company and NASCAR teamed up to give her the experience of a lifetime, all in honor of her son, a hometown hero. Aaron Reed was your typical high school junior, pondering his future, unclear of what to do. He said, Mom, I want to be a Marine. And I said, okay, I, I, yeah, let's think about this for a while, because last year you wanted to be a rock and roll star. But a year later, Aaron's mind was set. He would leave Chillicothe and follow in the footsteps of family members before him and enlist. His mom, Sarah Duvall, agreed to let him join the Marine Reserves. I thought, well, you know, we've been through such a period of peace and maybe he will be on, maybe he'll get to go to Hawaii. Wouldn't that be great if he could just do his service in Hawaii? No mother ever wants to send their child to war. And then September 11th happened. There's a group of 12 mothers that get together. Um, Five of us have lost children and five, uh, seven of, ha of us have not. And our general consensus is when we lost our kids it was at 9-11. That's where it started. Aaron was sent to Iraq on January 7, 2005 as a member of the Lima Company, a Marine Infantry Reserve Unit based in Columbus. The unit sadly lost men in May, June, and July. But nothing could prepare anyone for what would happen on August 3rd. There was one platoon that went out on a routine, routine um, assignment, and they were just to go out, I think it was maybe a couple of days, and then come back. And uh, his whole platoon went. That, that would have been 10 men. The men were in the truck, and at the very last minute, um, Travis Williams was tapped on the shoulder and they, they said, we need you up front. We need to fill the truck, the car up front. Would you please get out? And his last words to his buddies were, catch you on the flip side. Catch you on the flip side. And then he went up front. Um, that car went over the um, IED. The truck went over the IED and blew up. Uh, they were all killed instantly, which is a blessing. Aaron Reed was just 21 years old. He was six weeks away from coming home. First of all, I'm a, a person of very deep faith. I know where Aaron is. Um, I have no doubt about that. Um, his friends, his family, the community, the people from across the nation, um, their support helped me in immeasurable ways. This past April, Duval got a call from one of Aaron's friends and fellow Marines, Jason Dominguez, who now works at Nationwide. The company was hoping to honor someone from the Lima Company in a unique way. Aaron's name was the first name that came to mind. They want to honor Aaron, and they want to put his name on the side of the car. I said, oh, well, well, that's really neat. And he said, well, would you like to go? And I said, yeah, where are we going? <laughs> where she was going was Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600. And that car was Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s, the most popular driver in NASCAR. But before Duvall gave Jason the final OK, she had one final request. You know what would really be cool? What would really be cool is if Travis could go. And we both started crying. We've all worried about Travis for 10, almost 11 years, and he's finally becoming back. Duvall and her crew got the VIP treatment all weekend long, right from the start at the airport, met with a huge sign. And then in Charlotte, nationwide, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the 88 team pulled out all the stops. A one-on-one -on -one chat with Dale Jr. himself, autographed hats, replica cars, a tour of the hauler, and some odd requests on pit road. Would you like some lug nuts? And I said, yeah, that'd be great. So he got me a handful of lug nuts and wrapped them up and gave them to me. And of course, the highlight, having Lance Corporal Aaron Reed's name on the 88 car for 150000 to see in Charlotte and millions more on TV. The term honor doesn't quite get it. it I was overwhelmingly honored uh, that they would have first chosen Aaron's name out of all those and, and that, that it was on this car. And before the race, Duvall presented Junior with a plaque with the saying straight from Aaron himself. Think of me when you're sad and know that I would have wanted you to smile. For all of his friends and mm -hmm. for, for the family, it was just um, Aaron talking to us. Duvall has come down to earth from cloud nine since her amazing NASCAR experience, but the smile persists because though her son is gone from this earth, he is not gone from where it matters most, her heart. So I, I think as being as positive as I possibly can and, and relying on my faith and, um, and having all that support all these years that still continues. 
I could tell you story after story, but you don't have 10 years to tell it, so I won't. 